Yeah, I really didn't want to get into um, draining the coolant out of this again. But uh, I did receive the new water necks and uh, thermostats. So I'm going to reuse the uh, coolant because I just put it in. The lovely thing about the Merc is you gotta do this twice because it's got two water inlets. Here's the old one here that I'm replacing. See it's like heavily pitted. Even if I were to try and sand this down, it would have to take too much of that off. And it's look out there, it's all pitted around here too. Not as much of a problem, but the mating was a problem. As I mentioned in a previous video, I'm gonna put 180 degree thermostats in here which seems to be the consensus among the real uh, flathead people. They seem to indicate that uh, higher temperature inside the engine is better for burning deposits and for um, conditioning the oil. Consensus was that 160 degrees isn't quite enough uh, to get up there. So I'm going to go with the I've mind. You can see it's been seeping and it's been seeping for a long time I think because this was all oh, the paint was off long before it got to me. Yeah that surface feels pretty good. I'm gonna hit it with some brake clean. The, uh, the new thermostats are made in the U.S. surprisingly, and this is 180. This is, um, I would say, 50% heavier than the one that I took out of there, which was Chinese knockoff. I'm going to use some uh, Permatex. It's more of an um, adhesive than it is a sealer, but it does a little bit of both. And I'm also going to put some uh, sealer on the bolts.
That's what I can do. Don't say anymore. Anymore. Alright, I got both the uh, water necks on and the new thermostats in. I did put some water down here and see if I was getting any leaks and so far no. I don't like the way that the uh, dry or passenger side inlet went on. Um, that was really hard, like a, I may have had too much of that sealant on the threads or something because as it went in it was started to get super hard but I backed them out a little bit and put them in. So anyway, I'm going to put the hoses back on. We're going to pretend that this uh, is all good. I don't really want to do this again. These clamps kind of suck too because they've got a uh, inside kind of a protective ring to protect against these perforations or the notches but uh, if you tighten them up too hard which is what I want to do on these that uh, protective ring ends up digging right into the uh, hose and threatens to uh, pierce it. I think I mentioned before I'm going to reuse the coolant here because I just barely finished doing this about two weeks back and it looked pretty good actually it was fairly clean what came out I had a nut driver from either clamps but of course this one's just a slightly different size god help you you want them all consistent that'd be stupid and whoever built the uh, flathead I mean I meant this kind of like common uh, should be shot with a ball of their own shit because it's really, you know, there's no way to keep it captive. It just comes out, slides out, pokes you in the finger. It basically, does everything except work. Fill it. I really hope I don't see any uh, 
leaks down here, but if it seals itself, I'll be happy. If it doesn't leak at all, I'll be even happier. do a lot of this go buy a spillless funnel this one doesn't fit perfectly but I'll show you you can actually recover if you overfill it you can actually put this plunger into it and uh, carry away the excess and not spill any. Yeah, we didn't get a chance to see the uh, way this funnel works, but even if um, you overfill and there's still some liquid in there, you can put this plunger in, lift the whole funnel off and take it over to a can and it's absolutely brilliant. Comes with a whole bunch of different uh, caps.